Want to know how to recreate any sponsor from a picture? Watch this video to find out how. Hello there, Will here from We Fix Kits. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through how to recreate pretty much any sponsor from a picture using Silhouette Studio. But before I do, please remember to click like and subscribe to our channel to not miss out on any further tips and it really helps us as a channel well, to progress. Thank you. This is our Silhouette Studio workspace where we're going to um, do today's video. And the first thing we need to be able to create a, uh, a new sponsor is a good high quality photo. So what we've got here over to the here is a before and actually we've we've done in the past it's not a not a bad job if i do say so myself but this is a nice high image to be able to use as a basis for creating the cutting file for a new McEwen's lager sponsor so what we're going to need to do is use a feature within silhouette studio called trace so the trace bit is this little looks like a butterfly or a bug or something like that here's your trace panel and we're going to hit select trace and we're going to select the McEwen's lager bit now what you'll see here is that the yellow is where it's going to trace that's very noisy that's not going to give us a very good outcome and we can play around with the threshold settings but it's, it's going to be quite noisy and difficult to get a good trace so here's a little trick that I like to do that, that helps with the, the contrast. Because what Trace does is it uses contrast between two different colours to be able to differentiate between what it needs to trace and what it doesn't need to trace. So we're going to take this image and we're going to go to the effects panel, which is this one. And we're going to click the invert button and we're going to take the inversion all the way. To 100 now you can straight away see there is a lot better contrast there between what was blue and white and is now what well, looks like yellow and, and dark blue so we're going to hit ok or apply now if we go back to the trace panel and hit select trace and we select the area what we'll see is it'll be a nice there you go it's not bad as a, as a start of a term we've got some noise around the outside so we need to take get rid of that but that's not bad as a, a start of a 10 for the the McEwen's sponsor so we're going to take the threshold down a little bit as we take it down you'll see this noise start disappearing it's unlikely we're going to get rid of all of it initially but we want to get rid of some but what you want to do is you want to get the balance between getting rid of the noise and losing the quality of the actual image so you can see it's now started to lose some of the letters so let's put that back let's carry on it looks like it had a bit of a sulk so let's put that back to about 37 and hit the trace button now if we move the original image out of the way what you can see is if I select all of that, it's in a, a big group, but you've got all this noise that we need to get rid of. So what we could do is we're going to need to ungroup it. So right click and in fact, release the compound path. Apologies. We're going to release the compound path. And now you can see every individual item shows up with a box around it. So you've got all this noise here and you've got the letters, but then you've got also got the noise on the letters. So what we want to do is we need to delete these dots, right? So you can go through and do it like that, but that's a quite a time consuming way of doing it. A better way of doing it is to select each individual letter. So let's delete that, delete that, go through, select all the letters. Now for things like A's, remember you need to also select the inside of it. So you're going to select the individual letters and then take them away from the dots rather than trying to get the dots away from the letters you can tell i'm not very good at multitasking talking and selecting letters is not a skill so if we now drag that away we've now got a relatively clean McEwen's lager and if i select where it was 
you'll see all the dots are still there so we can delete them don't need those dots anymore now going back to the McEwans if we zoom right in on it you're going to see that it's, it's pretty wobbly it's not straight edges and we need to do something about it now with flock because this McEwan's lager would be a flock sponsor so you, it's a bit more forgiving but with vinyl you don't want all these uneven edges so you want to try and get rid of it now if we select just say one of the letters that each, each dot here is a point in the letter now you can use the simplify capability and that takes away some of the dots you've got to make sure you don't simplify too much because if you do you, you start losing the shape of the letter so let's just go back to the start so we hit simplify and that gets rid of some of the dots but if you look at it it's still a bit warty a bit lumpy so what we need to do if we double click on it you need to go round and delete the points that aren't needed so for a straight letter like an e it's relatively straightforward you probably need points at each corner but you don't need the ones along the way so here we go you can see there's a bit of a bend there so we can go back and we can tweak that to get rid of that kind of bend but already you can see that that looks better if we compare that to this e up here which is an identical letter you can see it's a lot straighter a lot nicer now zoom in let's get this one out you zoom in you can see so that you've got one here we can get rid of but now where you've done that it's now taken that down so we need to drag the point back up so that it looks like an e again same for this one here if we click on one of the points you'll see that is this one you'll see that these little blue squares they are used to be able to create curve in a line so what we need to do is really get rid of that curve because it's it's meant to be straight so for this one here we go for this one what you can do is you can either drag it to one end or drag it to this end there'll be another one at the other end of this because you can still there you go look you see so you go round and look this, this is time consuming stuff right and no one said this is going to be easy or very quick to do but what you can see now is this is a pretty nice and clean e so you need to go round each letter and do the same thing now where you've got letters with a curve let's take the s for example letters with a curve look at all the, the dots here. so if we can let's say go from here when you hit delete it'll go in a certain direction so make sure you go in select in the right direction so look so we want to get rid of all of these dots but now we want to try and create that curve back so if you click in the middle of the line you can start creating recreating the letter again and then you can use these handlebars here to give curve to the right part of the letter and there you go look, that doesn't look too bad it's only taken a couple of minutes but for the curved lines that's what you need to be doing relatively straightforward for the straight lines the curved lines need a little bit more work but what you're going to need to do once this is all done is for example this sponsor if if the original is a like a padded flock and you want to create that padded flock effect you're going to need to create what's called an offset to give it that kind of depth so in true blue peter style let's get rid of this move it over here and go to the humans that i created earlier so the only difference between this McEwan's and the one above is that I've already gone through and fixed all the letters. You can see it's not perfect, but it's it's looks pretty pretty good. Now, once you have the outline created, you then need to do what's called an internal offset. Now, that is what say what's going to give you the depth. So, to be able to do that, select the image. And then we go down to the the star open offset panel and now you have an offset which will go around the outside 
or you have an internal offset which will go around the inside. So we're going to hit internal offset about 1.7 millimeter. You can change the size of the, the offset. I think for this sponsor, about 1.7 is okay. And you can see now if we there's it's doubled up. So the internal line is now this offset. And before we finish with this, what we need to do is change the color of that line to a different color so you can see what's the original image and what is the, the new offset. If we go back to the offset, and that's already done. So now if we zoom in, here you can see, so the blue is the offset that we create, the internal offset. The red is the original image. Now for, for the A's, you can see that it didn't create anything. So what you need to do for those is you need to create an external offset for the internal holes so that it creates the line around the outside rather than the inside. So if we just right click and ungroup this so it separates all of the letter components out, I'm going to select the component and just hit offset. Now it seems to default to, to a rounded corner. I prefer having straight corners and hit apply and then we can change the color again to blue. It's done something funky down there. Might need to go in and edit that that line. Same for this one. Select the, the, the shape that you want the offset for. Go offset, make it square, change the color to blue. And now what you have is a complete depth, so padded flock effect cutting file. But what we need to do is we need to separate out the red from the blue. So a little thing that I like to do is select it all, go control C to copy, control V to paste, and it creates another one that's identical. Now, the easiest thing to do is we need to just go through and delete the bits that we don't need. So let's go through the top, delete the blue, because we want the top, we just want the red for the top one. Oh, it's deleted the wrong one. So we need to make sure we get the right, delete the right, there we go. One, make sure to turn into a hand, go through and delete it all. And then once you've done that for the red, you need to go through and do the opposite and delete the blue from the below. So you're left with the, the offset that you create. So now let's go around, delete the red. And again, true Blue Peter style, we will be left with something that looks like this. So here's the one I created earlier. Let's just move that up. And here we have it. We've got loads of McEwen's here. So let's just simplify things to get rid of it. So let's get rid of that one. And we can get rid of this one. And here are the final McEwen's. So the blue will go sit nicely over the red. There you go gives that 1.7 millimeter gap around the outside. And then if we select all of this and drag it onto the image. So in previous videos, I've shown how to get the right size to, to make sure that the image is the right scale. So that you, you know what you're working with in terms of dimensions. If we just select all of this, drag it over. It's not exactly to scale. In fact, I wonder whether I think this one down here will still be the right size. Let's bring to front. I'll we'll send that one to the back and drag this one over. I think it's the right it is. So there you go. So if we now zoom, lead them there and just move the picture, you'll see that that fits nicely over the top. And here's the, let's say here's the cutting file. So you're going to need to separate them out and flip them over to, to cut the back of it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>